last session 9, you tried making your mission. To set up your big cream, let's think about what you have to do. In the last session 9, you tried making your mission. To set up your big cream, let's think about what you have to consider. The dictionary concept of mission is task entrusted. This table is a simple system model of the mission and value of the individual and the implementation of the vision goal plan. Dreams, imaginations, and hopes may not be realized in real life. When it comes down to a mission, it becomes a mission I have to do throughout my life. Values can be a fundamental attitude to life or my strengths. Vision can be my future as a time-limited dream. Goals can be divided into short and long terms, and realizable dreams are embodied. The plan consists of a relatively short period of time to achieve the goal. The mission statement is a concise sentence of your own view of the meaning and purpose of living. It is a compass of dreams written by yourself while expressing the goal that you have dreamed. Everyone is worried about his life. What purpose was I born for in the world? This mission will be guidance in making decisions and choosing actions, and is made before values, visions, goals, plans and practices are made. Your mission is what you have to do until the day you die and it is your duty. In terms of a connection system, mission value vision goal short term goal plan and execute, and mission is at the top of this connection system. In some cases, all of these are integrated into a single dream, or they are organized into a single goal. However, the picture that draws the dream of our own is divided into the mission, value, vision, long and short term goal plan and execution. The mission is a lifetime mission. A value is a fundamental attitude to life. A vision is a dream with a definite period. Short and long term goal is a goal to be accomplished in about 10 years. And a plan and execution is a goal to be accomplished in about a year. A mission is compared to a colorful warp with the name of interest, desire, and goal. If you live on your mission, you can understand what Steven Spielberg said. When you wake up in the morning, you cannot have breakfast because you are so excited. To decide your route is what you have to do yourself except in the case of the force majeure event. You should write down your mission statement, which is the guidelines of your life course, and confirm it. The images that the letters of the mission statement bring up have a great significance because the life you are trying to reach is projected. When the image is repeated over and over again and the brain is recognized as natural, our brain accepts it as a matter of course. And our actions are consciously or unconsciously accepted. To change the course of life and find the treasures of life, you should write your own mission statement and publish it. A mission statement is a personal constitution and is another expression of firm values and vision. Therefore, the mission statement should be made through deep reflection and self-analysis. Most of them have to be rewritten several times until they are completed. It may take months or years before you are truly satisfied with the content of your mission statement and feel that it expresses your intrinsic values and direction in full aggregation. Now write down your vision under the mission statement. Stop this video for about 10 minutes until you fill out the table and start it again when you finish. Now write down your vision under the mission statement. Stop this video for about 10 minutes until you fill out the table and start it again when you finish. Please save all the tables you have recorded so far and in the future you finalize your life design through this Navigator Facilitator course. The dictionary concept of value is, a viewpoint of value. This is in a diary written by James Patterson. Life is like juggling. A juggler has to throw five balls without dropping them to the ground. The five balls are work, health, family, friends, and soul. However, among the five balls, one ball is made of rubber, and the other four balls are made of glass. Therefore, 
It is a rubber ball that bounces back even if it falls, but the rest of the health, family, friends, and soul should not be dropped because it is a glass ball that breaks once it falls. In this case, the priority of values is health, family, friends, soul coming forward and work being subordinated. We must realize this and strive to balance these five balls in our lives. Then how to keep balance James Patterson suggested are as follows. One do not underestimate yourself by comparing yourself with others. Two do not put your goals in things that other people think are important, but what you think is best for you. Three think of the things that are closest to your mind. Stick to them as your own life. Your life without them is meaningless. Four do not stay obsessed with the past or the future and do not let your life pass through your fingers. By living your life as if it was once a day, you live all the days of your life. 5. If you still have something to give, do not give up. Nothing really is over unless you stop trying. 6. Do not be afraid to face danger. Take courage as an opportunity to learn. 7. Do not live so busy that you do not even know where you are and you do not even know where you are going. 8. Do not use time or words for nothing. Both cannot be picked up again. 9. Life is not a race, but a journey to take a step by step. 10. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a secret, and today is a gift. So we say present is present. Values refer to systematic forms of beliefs or justification of values that function consistently when exercising value judgment or value choice in various phases and processes of life. In a nutshell, value is a belief in life. It is a touchstone, a principle and a standard for living. Belief and willingness to penetrate one's life is valuable. These values distinguish between external value and internal value. External values refer to social status such as money, status, power, and monetary property, and they are materialistic and tend toward success. On the other hand, internal values refer to wisdom, gratitude, patience, etc., and are the character and spiritual standard of the person. A word that can be used as a value phrase includes all 72 words of navigatorship. You can also refer to the 24 strengths mentioned in the strengths. Revolution, curiosity, discipline, judgment, creativity, sociality, foresight, bravery, tenacity, honesty, kindness, love, teamwork, fairness, navigator, self-control, prudence, modesty, appreciation, hope, spirituality, forgiveness, humor, and enthusiasm. Given that human life consists of many judgments and actions, values ultimately determine the means and goals of individual life goals. A person with a passive and fatalistic sense of value will be forced to resign and be frustrated in a difficult situation. On the contrary, a person with a positive and enterprising sense of value will have an attitude of carefully analyzing and overcoming the cause of difficulties in the same situation. While there are people who have wealth and power as the goals of life, there are people who devote their lives to fulfilling life and intellectual curiosity because they have different values. The dictionary concept of hope is to have an expectation of the day ahead. Hay and Lee, a poet said, Waking up in the morning in clothing is wearing hope. Putting on shoes is wearing hope. Hope does not come automatically, but what I have to call, what I have to raise a little bit, and what I have to awaken even if I am right next to it. Dreams and hopes are different. Dreaming is a big goal of my life, and hope is the belief that it can be achieved. So real hope begins when dreams are frustrated. It is the hope that gives me the strength to overcome frustration and gives me the courage to challenge again. Those who want to challenge will have to figure out directions and decide on ways to achieve their dreams. Here are some examples of John Baker and Nelson Mandela. In 1969, a parent vote was held for renaming the school at Aspen Elementary School in New Mexico. As a result of voting, the name of the school was changed to John Baker Elementary School with 100% approval without abstaining from or voting against only one out of all 520 parents. Baker, who wanted to be a track and field player but had poor physical condition, 
entered a high school athletic team on condition that he joined with a friend who had better physical condition than himself. Baker, who won the first tournament without being noticed, ran a number of races and finally earned a nickname for New Mexico's unbeaten John. It was in May 1969 that he triumphed for a mile 1,600 meters and was a cross-country prospect who was preparing for the 1972 Olympics in Munich. Baker felt pain in his abdomen and chest with sharpness during training, and he was diagnosed with a malignant testicular cancer that he could only live for six months. John worried that his family would be distressed because of his breakup with his girlfriend, and he tried to commit suicide on the cliffs, The children he taught at Aspen Elementary School reminded him. He always stressed to the children that they should do their best to never give up or sit down before reaching the finish line regardless of the game or whatever they were doing. He thought about how it would affect their life if he finished his life like that. He decided to spend all his time with the children in the athletics team. Back in school, Baker took care of the athletic team with a dedicated effort and paid attention to the children who were behind in athletic ability as well as the athletes. The purpose of running to John Baker, who gave up temptation of suicide, and return to the living space again even with time-limited life, is no longer a medal-winning recorder. He told students and their parents that, to learn the best ways to get through life, such as doing hard work, experiencing failure, trying again, never giving up, and getting an affirmative life through it is the team's purpose. But at the end of the life deadline, John Baker had to leave Aspen Elementary School. On the last day at Aspen Elementary, John Baker looked at one of the children and said, If you respect yourselves, love and encourage each other and do your best in your work, you are champions. Everyone here is a champion. John Baker, who resigned as a coach at Aspen Elementary School, left the world at the age of 26. Since then, students at Aspen Elementary School had begun to call their school, John Baker Elementary School, even though no one asked to do so. At first it was a few, but more and more students called it and so were the inhabitants. In the end, the name of the school began to change, and the school authority of Aspen requested it to the Albuquerque Scholarship Committee. In the parent voting, all 520 voters participated in the vote, and for a vote of 520 to 0 the school name was changed to John Baker Elementary School. The story of a young man, Baker who lived a short life, but from the time he started his first workout to the moment he left the world, did his best in his life, and devoted himself to the children he taught, moves to tears. Nelson Mandela was put in prison fighting against apartheid in South Africa. He was released 27 years after he was sentenced to life imprisonment. He was 71 years old. He stepped on the grass again that he had dreamed and said, I have never forgotten the moment I hoped a great change would take place. When his eldest daughter who he had not seen for 14 years in prison came to the prison to see him when she delivered her daughter, she asked him to name her daughter and he delivered a slip of paper. The letter written on it was, as we hope. Eventually he became the first black president in South Africa and abolished apartheid as the wish of all blacks. It is a moving story that shows how 1% of hope is realizing 99%. Hope is like a small seed, so it can grow to a beautiful tree-like dream if we know how to keep the seed well. The perspective of a person looking at a cup half full of water differs depending on whether he is positive or negative. The affirmative person says that he still has half, but the negative person says that he has just half. Who will be more successful? Perhaps it is an affirmative person. Successful people are mostly affirmative. Somewhat negative thoughts are thrown away and affirmative thoughts and beliefs are filled. Negative people frequently use, because, and blame everything else. But an affirmative person often uses, thanks to, and blames everything on me. In any case, there is an affirmative aspect. Affirmatively, the world is beautiful, but when viewed negatively, the world is all ugly. Matsushita Kanesuke also made a good opportunity for the three lack of poverty, illness, and illiteracy. Thanks to the three graces that God has given to him, he succeeded greatly.
First, because his house was very poor, from his childhood, he could accumulate many experiences to live the world through troubles like shoe polish and newspaper delivery. Second, he was able to maintain his health because he was very weak ever since he was born. Third, because he did not even attend elementary school, he regarded everyone as a teacher and did not neglect to learn and ask anyone. He changed everything from being poor, weak, and not attending elementary school to positive thinking. Matsushita's wisdom, which made adversity an opportunity, is a big part of the story. Affirmative behaviors come out by saying affirmative things and showing affirmative thoughts and attitudes. Such affirmative action eventually becomes a habit and leads to success. The affirmation here should be affirmative based on cool judgment, not unfounded optimism. Anyone who smiles and prepares for the future can live an affirmative life. Affirmation sometimes produces superficial strength and unexpected achievements. There is also the word, akuna matata. It means, do not worry, everything will be fine, in African Swahili. There is a saying that, attitude is everything. When negative thoughts are filled, negative things happen. On the contrary, if affirmative thoughts are filled, affirmative things happen. There is a saying, Stockdale Paradox. Stockdale is the highest U.S. military general who became captive in Vietnam. He is a war hero who negotiated with communist Vietnamese and made the best of circumstances and sent back many of the prisoners home. After he was released, when the reporter asked, how could some people survive to the end? He said, all the optimists have died and only realists and pessimists have survived. The optimists said that they could go out by Christmas Day, and so on. They hoped that they would go out on Easter if it is after Christmas and spend their time hoping. Then it gradually becomes desperate and eventually dies. Realists know that war would last long. However, they did not die and believed that they would return home someday. Only such people survived. The character of the survivor recognized the cruel reality and had faith in the future. Dreams are fulfilled when they are united in their belief that they can, do while shaking fear and standing on reality. If you act positively, you will not only be good for your health, but also be able to regain your vitality even before the twists and turns of your life, and you can make a more satisfying human relationship. The good news is that a positive attitude is a skill that we can easily learn. Positive people endeavor patiently for the future. It is like self-hypocrisy that if you constantly give positive thoughts to yourself, those can someday become a reality. People who are not smart like cattle but have positive thoughts are more likely to succeed than those who have negative thoughts. Positive power means that when things are positive, there is hope and hope is energy. When the positive energy of each person is gathered, it can become a great power to solve the crisis of society. This is also a good example of affirmative thinking. Someone's horse has run away. When the locals comforted the horse owner, he was not disappointed, saying, how do I know if this will be a blessing? A few days later, the horse came back with another female horse. When the people of the neighborhood congratulated, the horse owner was not pleased and said, how do I know this will be a disaster? Soon his son ran off his horse and broke his leg. When the people comforted his father, he replied, how do you know if this will be a blessing? However, after a while, a lot of young people who were dragged out to a war were killed but his son survived. Martin Seligman is a leading figure in positive psychology. He says Murphy's Law and Sally's Law are determined in their own minds. For those who think and act positively, positive reactions are waiting for them. And for those who think and behave negatively, there is a negative reaction. The phenomenon of strangely twisting things is called Murphy's Law. On the contrary, Sally's Law may be applied. According to Sullivan's research, a happy nun with positive emotions is said to live long. While 90% of nuns living in lively monasteries live to 85 years of age, only 34% of the nuns who lived at the dry monasteries spent their lives to 85 years of age. 
In addition, 54% of the nuns who lived in lively monasteries lived to 94, but only 11% of the nuns who lived in the most dull places lived to 94 years of age. The dictionary concept of imagination is, to draw in mind the phenomena or objects that are not actually experienced. You must put on your imaginary wings. Imagination does not cost money. It is also meaningful to have your own meditation time every morning or evening. Imagination is a unique ability possessed only by human beings, and human beings can think of things that do not exist in reality through imagination, and therefore imagination is the source of all inventions and innovations. The cognitive revolution of 70,000 years ago is also the manifestation of human imagination, and now science technology is also the result of imagination. The power of imagination to change the situation and know what we do not know is the power that allows us to empathize with others' experiences without having to experience them directly. We already have the power to change the world in our minds. We have the power to imagine a better world. You should enjoy imagining your heartbeat. Then the image you imagine can be real. Even if the imagination ends with just imagination, the mind becomes more fun. You should have a lot of time to think quietly for imagination. Conscious meditation, time to talk with your soul, and time to pray to God make life more abundant. Physical health is also important, and for the sake of mental health, you should take a habit of enjoying about 15 minutes of meditation a day. German archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann, after reading a book about the Trojan War in childhood, decided to find Troy ruins when he was an adult, and indeed he was devoted to the dream for a lifetime. In the process, others sometimes laughed at Schliemann, but he did not give up hope and confidence in his dream to the end, and eventually realized the dream and surprised many people. There are many endeavors supported in the success of Schulman, and the most important of them is that he has always remembered his dreams and continuously drawn his dreams in his brain. He said he imagined every night that he was actually in ancient Greece when he finalized each day. And it was said that it was the greatest joy of the day for Schulman. Founder of the Virgin Group, Richard Branson is considered as a representative model for adventurous entrepreneurs. He arrived at the airport at the end of a vacation in the Virgin Islands to go to Puerto Rico, but the plane was cancelled and people were rumbling. Branson rented a plane for $2,000. He thought $39 per person could be enough to pay the bill. He wrote, Virgin Airlines, $39 for Puerto Rico, on the board, and the ticket was sold out right away. Branson obtained not only two free tickets but also a little profit. It was the moment Virgin Airlines started. President Branson stresses to young people, imagine bigger. He says, if you are just looking at a goal, just a long way in between, or thinking of just too many dangers that may be encountered, you cannot take a step. If you do not try anything you want to accomplish in life, you will not be able to reach your goal, he advises. There are a few things that experts recommend on how to raise your imagination in common. Do not lose your curiosity. Observe things delicately. Be suspicious of what is obvious. Open your ears to the wrong words. Stimulate intuition through play and experience. Take time to think alone. The invention of Thomas Alva Edison was made possible by constant experiments on objects with curiosity. He always emphasized to his colleagues that the only way to get ahead of the competition is to experiment. Edison did as many as 2,000 experiments to invent an incandescent lamp. A tired assistant in a long experiment asked him, we experimented with 90 different materials to invent filaments, but all failed. It would be impossible to invent a long-lasting filament, so how about stopping the experiment? Then Edison replied, what do you mean? Why do you think it is a failure? We did not fail. I have found 90 different materials that are not suitable, so this is a successful experiment. Creation is basically based on the ability to look at the world differently and think of something else, imagination.
In general, imagination is considered to be absurd and unrealistic right now, but its potential value is endless. Edison's way of imagining can inspire people to create their own creative processes for those who want to build more creative imagination. There is no future for those who do not imagine. Imagination that predicts and creates a future that others cannot think of is a measure of ability evaluation and a source of competitiveness that no one can imitate. The dictionary concept of vision is a future situation or perspective. Vision is your own image of the future with a time limit. A clear vision is the driving force of change and growth. Vision is not a vague desire or a dream but a realistic outcome, and it is the most fundamental force that drives us. Vision is invisible, but it is also the ability to draw it. The dictionary meaning of vision means sight, vision, imagination, insight into the invisible in mind, imagination through intuition, the future, the visible, and the prominent sight. Vision is an individual's plan and the future image, and a milestone in the mind about the future, and an engine that moves toward that dream and goal with a passion for the new world and the new future. A story of the three stonemasons reveals the importance of vision. In the Middle Ages, a young man met a stonemason who was working hard on the road. When he asked the weary stonemason what he was doing, the stonemason replied that it was an arduous task as hard as his back was almost bending while polishing the stones. While continuing the journey, the young man met another mason who was polishing a similar stone and asked the same question. The mason then replied that he was cleaning the stone to build a house with an expressionless face. As the young man continued his journey, he met a third mason working happily to sing a song and ask the same question. The mason answered with a smile, building a cathedral. The third mason was able to work happily because he had a clear vision of building the cathedral. Like an individual's case, vision is important in an organization. Vision in an organization is an expression of a desirable future image of an organization. It is a dream and hope of organization members who show what kind of company it wants to become in the future. It is natural for a company to dream to continue forever as a dreamless person is dead. The difference between a company with a vision and a company without a vision is like the difference between a person who cares for a grand ideal and pursues it in his life and a person who lives without any thought every day. This vision gives the organization or individual members the ability to go together in one direction. So vision is far more powerful than dreams, and it is the driving force to produce concrete actions to achieve that dream. I would like to introduce a story about bamboo. Bamboo shoots are prepared for at least four years in the ground and then grow a few meters a day once they sprout. If it has not prepared for four years, it would not be able to climb to the heavens. Vision must also be prepared and thought in mind as usual. The vision that was deeply locked is realized in reality when the proper time comes. When I am asked what is the most unfortunate thing in the world, I answer every time that somebody can see it, but with no vision, said Helen Keller. Life without vision is more miserable than losing eyes to see. A clear vision has the power to mobilize individual competence and is the driving force of sustainable growth. The vision of the organization should be persuasive enough to voluntarily engage the group members' hearts. Vision should be disseminated by persuasion, not by coercion, because it leads to voluntary consent. Humans are most similar chemically. 65% of oxygen, 18% of carbon, 10% of hydrogen, 1.9% of calcium, 1.1% of phosphorus, 0.35% of potassium, and so on. However, the trajectory in living and the result of the living show a huge difference. Successful and unsuccessful, rich and poor, powerful and submissive, giving and peddling, learned and not learned, and so on. It is because a human being is not only a physical chemistry, but also a noble being with dream, vision, and soul. The dictionary concept of mind is personality or character originally possessed by a person. Human beings think of 50,000 trifle things a day, 
but 75% of them are negative thoughts, and only 15% are positive and hopeful thoughts. In order to live a hopeful life, we must reduce the negative thoughts. Instead, we must live with positive thoughts. Pessimistic, critical thinking should be reduced and good ideas should be made. If you do farming without taking care of it even for a week, the weeds will occupy the fields instead of crops. Crops dry out and die if you do not take care properly and drought and do not grow due to the weeds. Our mind is like this. A bad idea, a bad thought, or a negative thought grows too well in your mind even without effort. However, it takes a lot of effort to develop good thoughts, loving minds, and positive thoughts. Therefore, in order to be a good person, you must cultivate the garden of your heart beautifully. One Indian chief said to his grandson about his heart, Honey, there are two wolves in our hearts. One is a wicked wolf. Wicked wolves are hatred, pride, jealousy, despair, greed, arrogance, lie, and conceit. On the contrary, another is a good wolf, which means joy, peace, modesty, love, hope, and faith. Then, if two wolves fight, what wolf will win? Then the chief smiles and answers. The wolf you are feeding is supposed to win. Let's think about what kind of wolf we feed today. For a beautiful personality, the mind and soul reservoir must be filled with good thoughts. If you ask people in the experimental group that they take medicines with no medication effect and tell them that it is a drug that causes headaches, about 70% of those who respond to the test really complain about headaches. This phenomenon is called the nocebo effect. If a person is bitten by a snake without any poison, and is told that the snake was a serpent, he can also be afraid to reach death. There is a placebo effect, the opposite of the nocebo effect. If you give a pill every day that has no medicinal effect to a sick person and say it is a miracle cure for his illness, he can be cured. In the end, it is scientifically proven that something is done as you think. The legendary track recorder Roger Ventura broke the four-minute wall in one-mile run for the first time in the world, which had been considered not to be broken. Until he broke the record, experts believed that the four-minute wall would be the limits of human beings. However, when Ventera broke the wall, numerous athletes followed the record. It took 5,000 years to break the four-minute wall for the first time, but it took only two years to reach 300 runners after that. The most horrible enemy is your own limit, and your own wall in your mind. A person who breaks the wall drastically can achieve a happy success. The first thing you need to do to create a happy success is to make happy dreams which are vivid and meaningful in the list dream list. There is no easy thing in life, so even if difficult things happen, we should find hope without despair. Make a mission statement that contains the purpose and meaning of living and read it from time to time. Ask yourself if your own values are established. Look at the world positively and keep a positive attitude to the end. Exercise your exhilarating imagination and live your life as if your imagination is realized. Create a time vision of the future and identify the resources necessary to achieve it. Set short and long-term goals for dreams and practice the do list. Make the thought that everything is based on the mind, a way of living. 